Hello everyone, so today we will try to create uh, something from the black and white image. We can Maya convert that image into geometry. So let's begin. Let's create uh, first of all the plane as always. Great. And uh, let's go to modify, convert, and uh, select texture to geometry and press the square in order to go to the option box and as you can see in the option box we have an input image we can select in here gray or a black and white image which we will be converting to a geo we have some segment detection options which are working to be honest terrible for me at last only the minimum segment size if you will drag it uh, as close to the zero it will be a bit uh, let's say dense mesh but overall that shot doesn't worth the bullets so let's try to do everything on the default because all the time i'm using the default as the features it's up to you you can play with that but uh, oh well okay so let's select the image black and white and apply it to a geometry as you can see progress bar is going we'll wait to complete so in short uh, surface fitting the offset one is working it will offset the another image plane which uh, will be created from the first one which we selected but uh, do we need I don't know the color range and the maximum color difference. It's uh, how I created to interpret the images, image values, or image colors. So if you feed uh, proper black and white values, it will be no difference. You can go to the maximum, but uh, the conversion, let's say speed, it won't be working faster. So as I mentioned, it's uh, just that go with defaults let's say and you will fix it later i will close that conversion box and right now what we need to do we, we select that uh, that uh, second plane that you can see we have two and if you will go under the outline we can see that if i will expand my main plane which i've created the maya created the second one love cats it's uh, from from image uh, uh, from image naming convention great so what we need to do first we need to go and delete the history because if i will try to delete the main plane i will delete and uh, our plane as well so first of all i will select with the middle mouse and drag it from the parent um, that plane and Next, I will select both of them. I will go to the edit, delete all by type history. Great, and probably you can go and freeze information. Okay, so select uh, the plane which we don't need and delete it. Great. So, what I will do next, I will select the black thing around our cats and i need to delete it definitely i can go to the faces try to select it but it's not efficient so if we will select our plane you can see you can press the ctrl a for faster you will go to the attribute editor and uh, let's move to the right in the editor and we can see the two materials black and white so we can select the black one yeah, I will go to the hyper shape. I will find from the materials the black one. Right click, select object, the mesh, and I can extract it, delete it, whatever you want. Okay, in my case, I will delete it. Great. So, what we can do next, I will go to the vertex mode. And here, as you can see, it's a magnet, it's a too much vertex points. So I will go and merge them. I will increase threshold 
Play two. Yeah, and as you can see right now, it's uh, looking pretty good. Yeah, some areas can be fixed, maybe five. Maybe three. For me, it will work. It will work. And if we will create a smoothable mesh, for example, we can decrease it even more. Okay, so let's let's extrude it. Select everything and shift right click to extrude. Super awesome. And as we can see, we have some issues. The second, some kind of mesh is overlapping. So let's go and fix before extrusion. So, in the case, it will be some issues, but it will be much more faster, I believe, than uh, draw it in, uh, by hand. Okay. So. We have extruded cats. Uh, as you can see right now, these lines uh, are very hard edges, so we can just uh, probably. First of all, what we need to do to unlock the normal because it's a normal problem, and after it, we can smooth the edge. So, what I will do, I will select all the mesh, I will go to a mesh display and unlock the normals. And right away, as you can see, uh, edges became much more sharper. Great, so I will go to the edge mode, select edges in here, I will select edges down here, and I will go to the mesh, soften edges. Wonderful. Great. So, definitely we can do cleanup job you can try to uh, use a quadrangulation option in order to to fix let's say the mesh or oh, as you can see the back the back second let's rotate it the back is black that means the normals are black and inverse so what i can do i will select it only the bottom Parts and I will go to a mesh display and where are you? I need to inverse the normals. Okie dokie. Okay, we'll try to find it. Uh, okay, normals. Face normals. Display. Reverse, only reverse. Re reverse. Mesh display reverse. Mesh display reverse. Great. And as you can see, guys, now we have the cat. <laughs> I hope that this information is useful for you and uh, yeah if you want you can subscribe it will be appreciated please ask your questions and uh, I hope you will learn something you can show what you have done with that technique it will be really really cool to check this out okay have a nice day